According to wellness beliefs, dating back thousands of years, your body possesses an unspoken wisdom that we seek to enhance. These sources of energy, known as your chakras, lend power to your everyday pursuits and guide your state of well-being throughout the day. We created Mantra Essential Oils to help you tap into these innermost points of energy. Mantra Essential Oils are nature's sources to align your energies, calm your senses, and connect with your inner self. We invite you to experience each blend traditionally used for its own therapeutic properties. Balance the connection between mind, body, and spirit. Mantra Essential Oils. Order from an affiliate today. Ladies and gentlemen, today, again, with a, a small update, um, yesterday at the premiere a video, um, an old uh, vlog, because uh, I need to um, I needed to work on this, what I'm going to show you now. And um, so I want you to I want you to see what I'm doing of what I did yesterday when I premiered an old uh, vlog. And um, the reason why I'm premiering the old vlog and tomorrow I'm going to do a pre-taped show as well is because um, I'm training myself to be consistent. And because in real life, sometimes um, it's difficult to do lives because like tomorrow I'm on the road, I need to go with my husband to the cardiologist, I have to do this, I have to do that. So um, being live every day is not uh, doesn't work for me as in my life right now, but I want to um, be creative about being consistent. So what I'm doing right now is like sometimes I will pre-tape shows and uh, air them or premiere them um, other days. Okay then, <laughs> what am I going to talk about? Um, I'm going to talk about um, what I've been working on uh, yesterday. As you all probably already know, uh, I have my formula of my website is uh, meditation, messages, and magic. Meditations, uh, I've uh, had like a show about. Um, messages, I've done one or two shows as well. And today I'm going to go into an aspect of magic. And the aspect of magic that I'm going to um, talk about, and that's what I've been writing yesterday, is about herbal lore. I think I'm going to show um, the uh, my website so that it's easier for me to um, talk so that it's easier so that it will make sense. Okay, so basically, like I said, uh, meditation, mag messages, and magic. Okay. Um, when we talk about magic, we're talking about uh, uh, using your mind, your feelings, your desires, uh, your will to. Um, to do certain things. I mean, here I describe better what uh, magic is. And um, later on, uh, what I've done yesterday is that, um, because there are many ways of developing your magical powers, I uh, decided to do some research about herbal lore, okay? So, um, and, and in that uh, particular sense, um, I'm going to um, start giving some info, uh, things that I've written and uh, yesterday and research they've done like in during the weekend and um, I want to share this for with you. Okay, so um, like it's written here at the beginning of the uh, of the part of the chapter about herbal lore. Um, I'm writing here. To start off, it's important to be aware of the fact that the description, descriptions I'm about to give are based 
on magical symbolism and not medical prescription. There is a crossover between medical and magical herbalism because they have common origin. Okay, and um, later on, I'm going to give an example with one of the uh, herbs I'm going to discuss. Okay. Uh, witches were medicine women that were prescribed, um, and what they prescribed la uh, later proved to uh, by were, was later proved by medical research, or the opposite. The opposite happens too. That um, that medical research will prove that what was being said is just the opposite. But why? We uh, I'll explain later. Um, but this is not the case with all herbs that uh, that I'm going to talk about here. Okay. This is uh, um, the list that I'm having. I'm going to show you now. It's a combination of information I got from the Wicca Bible, that is a, a book of uh, uh, Anne Marie Callinger, and I supplemented that with information from Wikipedia and several uh, medical practitioners. So the list uh, I came up with is from the uh, Wicca Bible. But what I've done is I've taken the lore and uh, compare it with uh, other people and put uh, things that I found similar uh, together. Okay? The majority of the pictures uh, were copyright free and from uh, Wikipedia. Okay? When the photographer was known, I did attribute him or her. I mean, you might think, oh, that's all. But um, although like um, being very uh, um, strict with your sources is something I've learned in academia. Um, because I went to university, I mean, in university, I mean, if you mess around with attributions or try to do like, I'm like the big guru, I'm going to tell you, well, it's information you got from somebody else. I mean, if you do those kinds of things, like in the academia, I mean, your reputation is going to be ruined, ruined for the rest of your life. So I was raised like to be very meticulous with those kinds of uh, things. And that because of my background in, in nowadays, it's like, less strict especially with lore because lore is like um it's traditional knowledge it's like a body of uh, traditional law knowledge majority of the info that i'm putting here that was compiled um by Anna marie callinger and um because it's information that passed from mouth to mouth it's um the background is usually not very clear but still i'm trying within uh, the parameters uh, it's uh, realistic and without exaggerating exaggerations, I'm trying to make sure I attribute um, where I got my knowledge from, because I'm not uh, I'm not the one who came up with all this. Okay, um, so I I am the one who connects dots. Okay, so that my 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 um, contribution all this is to connect dot, the dots. Eh? Okay. Um, uh, the herbs uh, um, can be used in several ways. It's important um, avoid as much as possible uh, contact with skin um, because some of the products here um, are not suitable for that unless you've done like your research because um, all the herbs I'm describing here, like I said, I'm doing it in matters of magical symbolism, but um, there is uh, there is a body of info uh, about the uh, these herbs. Uh, as uh, medical, um, with if you want to use them in a medical way, and it's good to to uh, check that out as well, and um, go to like if and if you're in the states, uh, go to a doctor. I mean, I don't know, but important is that you don't for you to understand that avoid a contact direct contact of herbs unless you've done proper research, and uh, this info um, is info about medical symbolism and not about medical symbolism or medical research sorry okay so these herbs can be used in several ways several ways um, for example decoration on the altar part of incense blend um, in a bale fire a ritual um, in pouches um, in the sand in the house in center point of the house or at the doors in herbal oils um, with proper research and many other ways and here we've got the on the end of my uh, uh, page, I always have uh, a way, a place where you can uh, read and um, give your info or give your information. Okay, um, for today, I um, yesterday I only focused on floral types of herbs. So um, let me see. Mm. 
here, like one of the uh, uh, types uh, I talked about, I wanted to give this example because it's important. Um, why I'm saying like it's, uh, we're talking about the magical properties and not medical um, stuff. Um, like the, the uh, belladonna, the beautiful lady um, uh, flower is used in magic. It's like I said, it's, uh, it's very highly portioned, portioned should be, um, it's used for vision work, banishings and bindings, okay. Um, if you look at the medical info about this herb, you will notice, or if you look at the historical background of the herb, you will find out that um, many people used it uh, in the past, women would use it um, on their eyes uh, to make their pupils go, uh, go bigger because that makes them look like more, make their eyes look more attractive. Um, I would think, and, and because of that, they would get a terrible eyesight. And my, like, my connecting of the dots in this particular sense, just the fact that putting it in your eyes is bad for your vision, but um, magical practitioners, pra uh, practitioners use it for vision work. My, um, the way I connect these dots is that I think that when uh, this info was um, passed over from one person to the other, uh, what happened basically is that... Um, when the people said like um it's good for your vision or for vision work probably some people thought that they meant like physical for your physical eyes but um what the people meant was that it's good for your um spiritual uh, for you to look at things in spiritually better so um and then uh, what happened, I think, is that um, this information has been understood that uh, it's good for your eyes physically, but what they meant, the people that get past this information, is that it's good for your vision, your inner vision, your spiritual vision. And because of uh, that misunderstanding, people ended up using it as uh, eye drops um, and because of that, uh, damaged their eyes and uh, giving them uh, this lore, a bad reputation and I mean, um, I, that's the way I think things um, has happened. And that's why sometimes um, uh, the herbal, the medical uh, uh, lore or the medical research and the uh, herbal lore, sometimes they complement each other and sometimes they will um, contradict each other. Um, that's why I think it's uh, important um, to like read this, but check the medical side as well. Okay, um, something else that I think that it won't hurt uh, to think about is that um, it's important to be flexible about it. So when um, you go through the info, you will see like I've got here, I've got here like this. I put like the, uh, the name in Latin so that if um, you're having like a hard time, you can always search in Latin if, um, if you're not, English is not your language and you still find um, the info in the language that you needed to. Okay. So here um, I'm showing you the um, the herbs that I'm using or that I'm going to treat, uh, talk about their medical properties. I made sure, like you see here, that I um, attributed all the pictures. Some pictures are um, the, the the person wants you to, um, to attribute them, others, some others, it's not obligatory, but I did it anyway. You will notice because of the, the CC um, uh, sim, uh, number. So like if it's 3.04 uh, or 3.1 uh, 3 or 3.4. Okay, so here, like you see, um, I'm talking about all the herbs and um, their medical uh, properties. You can go to my website, like uh, my website always goes, um, is shown um, under. Okay, so here you can see. Um, so this is what I've been doing yesterday morning, basically. Okay, so um, uh, look up information, um, find pictures that are um, without um, copyright and, and put the information together, find the Latin word, uh, compare um, info, 
uh, and compile it and like it's very superficial very like um simple because this is like done in one morning and what i try to do is first uh do the surface of everything and when after i'm done then i go deeper okay so about um this like i said it's very important um when we talk about lore is to be flexible about it because um mo the most important uh, ingredient in magic is your mind okay and a lot of uh, these are herbs and this info that we've got um european uh, uh many of the herbs are european um, but there are similar herbs with similar properties in other uh, parts uh, of the world and uh, someone with the with the proper research of the medical um uh, you can properly uh if you see if you know like the medical uh, um, properties of a uh, herb it's easy um to dissect or to um or to, uh, yes, let me see, interpret it in spiritual. So um, as below, uh, as above, so below. Okay. If it has uh, medical properties, because of the medical properties a herb has, it's easy to dissect or assume or um, try the spiritual side of that same um, physical attribute. And you try it out see what happens in, when you uh, when you do your um, stuff and then uh, see what happens and depending on what happens you can um, uh, adapt and uh, what have you okay so um and if you don't have a specific herb just use whatever you've got um i mean in my garden i have a massive amounts of aloe so i will use aloe for um, a lot of stuff okay then um that's it basically um if you're interested in this info um you can go to my website and uh, look it up tomorrow i'm going to be on the road so um i will have a pre-taped show um what um okay that's it basically like i said before i know like i could like um not do shows sometimes but i'm tr just I'm doing this uh, to develop, um, I'm working on consistency, despite of circumstance, so how to combine consistency with, uh, um, with circumstances uh, in such a way that I can develop that skill in me. And um, if anyone can, um, because of that, can get out of this, this any type of um, benefit or get inspired, that's great because that's what I do too. I try to get inspired and watch other people and I try to get inspired um, by them. So if I can do that for you, um, it's my pleasure. Okay, then that's it for today. Thank you for listening to me and the people that came in uh, later and are interested uh, can always uh, I mean the show is going to be here so you can watch you watch it so um this is then my show about uh, my info the info i've compiled about un until now or yesterday about um herbal lord and their magical work like i said magical work is not the same as the medical research work and uh, thank you for listening and till the next time Bye-bye.